Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, it's Eddie with Colton RV here with another camping video. And uh, it's a beautiful, sunny, warm day here in Buffalo. So we're gonna get right to it. So on this coach, this is the Coachman Pursuit 31BH. Um, it has a lot of great features on it. Um, and it's a really, really affordable coach. Um, so to start, you're gonna have a outdoor entertainment center, the power TV. It's actually gonna have a built-in sound bar underneath it too. So if you're tailgating, just want to watch the movies by the campfire. It's great for it. And the storage on this coach is awesome. So you're going to have three big storage compartments. Um, you can see right now I have the uh, bunk ladder in there. Um, but huge compartment, put some luggage, some campfire wood, uh, fire pits, whatever you're going to bring in that one. Um, and you're going to have, we'll take a look on the other side there's one and on the back there's a, a huge one. Um, but as we move down the side, you're gonna get a power awning with an LED light strip along the side of the coach. So it lights it up at night for you. Uh, don't have to trip, fall, wonder where everything is on the campsite. And a really nice feature on the coach for the price point is you're gonna get side cameras. So with a 31 foot coach, um, the side cameras are really, really nice because any potential blind spots are gonna be eliminated by the camera. Um, when you turn the blinker on, whatever side your blinker, if it's left or right, that coordinating camera is gonna come on. Um, so you have two side cameras, one on each side, and then you're gonna have a backup camera as well. Um, just give you a full 360 visibility around the coach. And as we move to the front, so on the front of the Pursuit, um, you're gonna get a fiberglass front cap, has the new LED lights for 2020, uh, 2023. And up in the front here, um, this is gonna be a hood that opens up for you. Uh, you'll be able to check all your fluids in there, your windshield washer fluid, check your oil, um, all that good stuff, and your batteries up there as well. So if you ever had to get to that, it's all very accessible in the front of the Pursuit. And as we move around the side here, so you notice this coach has a giant super slide um, we'll actually take a look at that when we come inside, uh, but just for the space, it, it's awesome. And we'll move down. So you're gonna have a small storage compartment here, great for tools, gloves, um, anything you may wanna throw in there for working on the, dumping the tanks. Now this is not a storage compartment. So this is gonna be your propane compartment. Um, so you're gonna have your propane tank here very large propane tank to run your furnace and your hot water and you're also going to have your hydraulic system in here for your jacks so again i mean everything's super accessible they, they really did a good job putting it all in spots where you can get to it now with the hydraulic system what that's going to operate you do have a four point auto leveling system on the coach so what that means is when you get to camp you push one button coach is going to level itself out you don't have to crank anything you don't have to get down low and do all any of that stuff you just push a button good to go As we move down, another storage compartment slash uh, power cord compartment. So your power cord's gonna sit in here. Um, it is a 50 amp coach, so you do have plenty of power to run. If you do not have 50 amp on the site, no big deal. All you do is run a 30 amp uh, converter and you're good to go. Well, I'm gonna stand here, this is nice. The furnace is blowing out here. The nice thing too is all your hot air outlets are actually on the off-camp side. So not a lot of people think of that. Um, but with your water tank and your furnace, um, a lot of times they'll put them on the camp side. And what happens with that is one, when you're running the furnace like this, uh, it's gonna blow hot air on you under the awning. Or, you know, uh, God forbid you have little kids or grandkids and they come up, that's very hot. They come up, hit that, well, you're taking a taking a trip to the doctor's office and RV stands for ruined vacation. So it's awesome that they put it on this side for you. All right, so here's your dump compartment. So down here in the compartment, you'll notice the tanks are actually above the subfloor um, and they do have tank heaters on them. So if you are gonna do any extended camping, um, especially, you know, up here in Buffalo, it, uh, you never know what the weather's gonna be. September could be 80 or it could be 20. So if you do some extended camping, your tanks are up high, they have tank heaters on them, um, so it eliminates a lot of the freezing aspect of it. So your dumps are right under the tank here. Um, and if you're gonna stay for a long time, what you do is you put your hose on, run it out the bottom through this cap, 
and that allows you to just have the hose always there. If you're gonna quick dump, if you're just leaving the campsite and you're driving up to it, just hook the hose on straight out the side. Um, so it's uh, very easy to dump any way you have to do it. If for some reason you get a little messy while you're dumping, well, no worries. You actually have an outdoor shower right here with hot and cold water to wash your hands. You have a light down here for at night. And then you're gonna have your winterizing inlet. So if you do winterize the coaches yourself, all you do, you put a hose on here in your antifreeze and you can winterize. And you also have a black tank flush. Um, so the nice thing with the black tank flush is, if, uh, if you've had a camper before and you haven't had one of those, you know you have to take a wand, walk into the bathroom, stick the wand down the toilet, hose it out, and then take that wand and that hose and walk all the way back to the camper. Um, not really a pretty job to do. So all you do when you're dumping your tanks, you hook your freshwater hose up to that sewer tank flush and let it run till it runs out clear. Super easy to use. And as we move down the side, all your inlets are right here with each other. So you have a cable inlet if they have cable at the campsite. You have a fresh tank fill. So that's just how you fill your fresh tank. And if you actually have uh, city water on the site or direct water, you just hook up there and that bypasses the tank for you. You're gonna have a generator. So with this generator, this is a 5,500 watt generator. It is inverter technology. Um, so basically all the inverter means is it's giving you cleaner power to the coach so you don't, uh, don't fry any of your electronics or your iPads or your laptops or anything like that. Um, and the really cool thing with this one is you can actually start from a key fob, which is pretty neat. And as we move to the back of the coach, um, you're gonna have two things back here. You're gonna have your backup camera, like I talked about earlier. So if you are backing into a site, if you have a tow vehicle behind you, anything like that, you have full visibility to the back of the coach. And speaking of a tow vehicle, you're also gonna have your hitch down here. So you have a hitch, you already have the seven way plug. So you're good to start flat towing or towing a trailer right off the bat. Nothing you have to add after the fact. And this is the other big compartment I was telling you about. So on this side, huge compartment here. Um, I mean, you can kind of see how big it is. But the cool thing is they actually put a cutout here under the bed. So you can slide all your tables under there, camp chairs, uh, any of the bigger stuff that you don't want to throw inside, slides in there perfect. Just don't bring those tables if you're going to a Bills game, they'll probably get broken. And you'll have one more big compartment here. Now the cool thing is too, under this compartment you'll see there's a little hookup right here. What this is for? This is for a propane outlet. So if you bring a grill, if you bring a smoker, if you bring a blackstone, um, even a propane fire pit, anything you want to bring, you don't have to bring an additional tank. You can actually pull off that big tank on the other side. All you need is the quick connector um, adapter. Put it on the grill, put it on the smoker plug it in, good to go. So without further ado, we will get into the heated coach. All right, so now we're inside the coach from Pursuit, out of the elements, it's a little cold out there. Um, and if you thought there was a lot of features outside, well, there's a bunch more inside, so we'll get started right away. Um, so inside the Pursuit, the sleeping is amazing. Um, so this is the 31BH, so it's the bunk model. So you'll sleep two in the master, two in the bunks. So you have four in the back. You can sleep one at this dinette, maybe two, depending on, on the size of folks, if they're tall or short. The couch across from me here, this will go to a bed. Realistically, you're gonna sleep one person on there. Again, it depends on tall or short. Uh, might be able to squeeze two. But you also have a fold down bunk here. and you'll sleep another up here. So total sleeping in the coach, four in the back, one, two there, and one up front. So a lot of sleeping in the coach from Pursuit, enough room to bring everybody with you. Um, and speaking of bringing everybody with you, you also have seat belts in the coach. So you have two seat belts in the couch and two in the dinette. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six seat belts throughout the whole coach. And the cool thing with this bunk is it's all on a strut system, so it's super, super easy to put up and down. It's not gonna fall on you. It's not heavy at all. And all you do, click it into place. 
So up in the front of the coach here, um, this is the new V8 chassis. So with the V8 chassis, a um, few things changed. Obviously the motor from the V10, that's the biggest change. Um, but the steering wheel changed a little bit. So you have some more user controls on here. Your cruise control actually went to the wheel, which is very convenient. On the side, you're gonna have your auto leveling. So with the auto leveling, we talked about it outside a little bit. All you do, make sure your parking brake's engaged, press on, press auto, and then don't move. It's gonna auto level for you. It takes about a minute, minute and a half, um, but it'll do its thing. It'll blink at you when it's done and you're good to go. And if you're like me and you're forgetful, if you do try to start the coach and drive away, it's gonna make this real loud beeping sound. So that way you know your jacks are down, don't drive away. <laughs> um, but for the 2023 Pursuit, um, some things that they've done, they did put a bigger um, entertainment screen in here, uh, infotainment screen, I think they call it, for the front. So that's gonna do Apple CarPlay on it, Android CarPlay. Uh, you can hook all your maps up to it, and uh, of course, do the radio from it. You will have some USB chargers underneath of that. And then right to the right of it, um, you're gonna have a few buttons. Um, the first button is gonna be auxiliary start. So what auxiliary start does, uh, easiest way to say it is if your battery ever dies for the engine, you can pull the power from the house part of the coach. It's, uh, you can jump start yourself essentially. Next to that is your generator start. So you can start the coach from the driver's seat if you want to run the air conditioner going down the road. Radio. Radio just allows you to switch over. So if you're parked like we are right now, we don't have the motor running, you hit that button and it'll send power to that screen so you can listen to your radio. And then map light is just, there's two little lights above the driver passenger. And in the passenger compartment, really neat. You're gonna have this table here. So if you wanna do some work while you're driving, eat a sandwich, anything like that, you're gonna have a table. You're gonna have two outlets, a USB and a 12 volt. And for those bigger electronics, laptops, stuff like that, there will actually be a plug underneath the dashboard. So you can still charge them while you're going down the road up front. And that wraps up the driver's part. So we'll start making our way around the coach. Um, so as for storage, a lot of storage on the outside, even more on the inside. So they did really good with the compartments here. Um, the button for your power awning is gonna be up in there as well, hidden away. Uh, you'll have some additional plugs if you wanna run a, uh, an additional TV up front for some reason, but you do have one already that comes with the coach. As for the sleeping area for the bed, all you do, pull up, push down. That's one bed there. And then for the dinette area, so you're gonna have storage underneath both of the dinettes, um, seat belts, seat belts, and you will have some plugs under there as well. Now to convert this to a bed area, very easy. There's a latch underneath, flip that to the left, hand on top, push down. Put the cushions on top, that's it. Your bed's made, super simple. Except I got my fake ficuses stuck in there. There we go. And above that, you're gonna have an additional Connex TV. Um, so you had the one outside, a little bit smaller TV, that was a 32. Inside, you're gonna have a 40. Again, built-in soundbar on the bottom. Super simple to use. The antenna's already on the roof, so all you have to do is turn it on, run a channel scan, and you're good. You're running TV. Um, the neat thing, though, with the Connex is you can actually Bluetooth to it with your phone. So if you wanna play Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, anything like that, you can do it to that soundbar. You will actually have FM radio to the soundbar, um, and you have two HDMI ports on the back side of the TV. So if you want to plug in any electronics, gaming systems, DVD players, anything like that, right to the back. And we'll move to the kitchen. So again, storage absolutely everywhere in the coach. You'll have two pullouts underneath the sink. Some additional pullouts there. There's the uh, remote for your Connex TV. and you'll have an additional storage under the sink. So plenty of room for coffee pots, air fryers, anything like that. And above that, you actually get a metal sink. Believe it or not, a lot of the competition um, in this price point is not giving you a metal sink, they're giving you a plastic sink. And the big difference there is, if I'm over here cooking on my range top, I have that hot pan, I put that in a plastic sink, well, 
you're going to have a real big drain on the bottom of that sink. With a metal sink, you won't have that at all. So you can throw hot pans, anything that you need to in there. And there's a dual sink, so if you want to do some vegetables on this side and some dishes on that side, plenty of room to do it. Some additional storage. Speaking of cooking, when you're over here cooking, fold this up. There's your backsplash. So if you're cooking any bacon, anything like that, it's not going to splash on the walls. You have a backsplash here, but you also have a fan. So if you're like me, you get up early, you're cooking the eggs, the bacon, the smoke starts coming up, smoke alarm goes off, you wake up everybody in the coach, they're all mad. Just turn that fan on. It's going to vent out just like it would in the house. You got the roof uh, hood vent. That's what they're called, hood vent there. oven and a microwave again in the price point you're usually either getting one or the other um, nine times out of ten you're getting the microwave and not the oven um, coachman throw them both in there for you so you're getting the magic chef oven and then you're also getting the graystone microwave so name brand uh, appliances and the fridge so if you do a lot of dry camping um, you're going out either to music festivals nascar races anything like that where you might not have power um, they've gotten away from the propane and electric fridges um, for a few reasons, efficiency, stuff like that. With the 12 volt fridge, runs right off your battery power, so you don't have to have the generator running. Um, you actually gain about a uh, foot to two cubic foot of space inside, but we don't have to vent them. Um, they don't get condensation like the propanes used to get and uh, they hold temperature a lot, lot better. I mean, I just turned this coach on and it's already cold in there. So they cool down in about 45 minutes to an hour, roughly, compared to the propanes that could be anywhere up to eight hours. So way more efficient fridge, hardly takes any power, right off the 12 volt batteries, good to go. And behind the fridge is your control panel. So at the control panel, a lot of buttons here, super simple though top button is your tank heaters so if you are going to be doing that extended camping turn those on puts heat to the tanks that way the water won't freeze on you um, TV radio antenna all that is you flick that on your antenna on top is going to work for the TVs tank levels press the coordinating tank it'll tell you the level so our fresh tank right now is empty that's good because we're winterized now underneath while we were talking about the dry camping the water heater on this is gas and electric so, if you are at a site that has no power and you're not running your generator, no problem, run it off the propane, you'll have hot water. Alternatively, if you have power and you don't want to waste your propane, no problem, put it on electric, you're not going to use a lick of propane, and it's going to have a uh, electric hot water. So just put it on and leave it, super simple. Water pump is your water pump, that pulls the water from the freshwater tank, then you have an additional generator start and stop button, so you don't have to go up to the dashboard every time. Only other button down here is your slide. That brings the big super slide in and out. All it does. Um, and you, you have a thermostat up front and in the bedroom, which means we have two air conditioners on the coach. So that's why it's 50 amp. You have two air conditioners. If you're gonna be uh, camping in very warm climates, uh, one air conditioner eh, would probably do 31 foot, but just to be safe, Coachman puts two on there for you. So you don't have to worry about the coach getting uh, hot and muggy inside. Always have cool air and we will keep moving to the back. So, you might be saying, well, a bunkhouse isn't for me. I don't have anybody I'm bringing with me. With all the sleeping up front, I don't need the bunks. It might be true, but the cool thing that Coachman does with their bunks is, if you don't need this space for folks coming with you, all you do, top bunk folds up, lock it into place. And now, you have a giant walk-in closet. Close bar up front, hang all the clothes you need, close the curtains, Good to go. Now you have a giant closet, even more storage. Pop that back down. You do have a window in both bunks, so if you do have people coming with you, you have two emergency escape windows. Also open up, get a nice cross breeze. And you have outlets in the bunk as well. So if you want to run any electronics in the bunk, DVD players, anything like that, um, not only do you have a normal house outlet, but if you're going on the road or you're dry camping, there's also a 12 volt outlet in there as well. So you always have power. And if you want to go through the bathroom, surprise, it's a dual entry. <laughs> so inside the coachman bathroom, um, 
Dual entry, so if you do have folks coming with you, you don't have to walk past them in the middle of the night to get to the bathroom. Everyone has access, everyone has a door. The neat thing though is, really big shower, and I'm six foot, so if I get in the shower here, I have plenty of room to stand up. I probably have another two feet until I'm hitting the roof. So plenty of room, um, it's not claustrophobic at all. Nice big corner shower. And the toilet placement is awesome, especially for taller folks. A lot of the times when you get in a camper, the toilet's not placed right. So when you sit down, you have no leg room. It's called the sit test, a lot of people do it. So again, six foot, I have plenty of room here. Um, plenty of room to both doors. It's a very, very comfortable bathroom. And not only that, but in the price point for the toilet, let's see if it makes the ding sound. It does. That's a porcelain toilet. So a lot of brands in the price point are going to put a plastic toilet in here for you. Um, nothing wrong with a plastic toilet, but the porcelain toilet is just like at home. Very easy to clean. You don't have to wipe the bowl every time you use it. So a lot more uh, user friendly. You'll have some storage above the, uh, the toilet there. Double stack cabinet. And you also get a very large medicine cabinet as well. So Co again, Coachman did an amazing job with storage on the unit. You have storage absolutely everywhere. I don't even think I could find that much stuff to bring. All right, and as we move back into the bedroom. So, a couple cool things in the bedroom here. Um, one, again, storage. You're gonna have a ton of it. Very large wardrobe here for hanging any clothes you might need to hang. Some nice deep drawers for your folded. You'll have two of those. You'll have two here, and then you actually have a secret hidden compartment behind your TV here. You'll even have some storage back there. Another thermostat will be in the bedroom as well. That's for your second air conditioner. They are ducted all the way through, but you can run um, dual climate zone. So if you like it a little warmer or a little cooler in the bedroom than in the living area, set this one to whatever you want, set the front one to where you want it, and that'll run the different zones. Again, tons and tons of storage. The last cool thing I want to show you in here though, I have to get up on the bed for it. Up in here, you'll notice there's a little sticker here that says CPAP station. So, you actually, there's enough room in here to fit a CPAP if you have one. There's outlets hidden, but there's also a cutout here in the bottom where you can run any of the accessories down. So, neat little thing that they did there. If you're not running a CPAP, it's great for a laptop. Plug it in there, or your phones. Plug them in there, run the cord down. Nice little hidden compartment. All right, so now we're gonna take this uh, this Coachman Pursuit 31 VH for a test drive here. We got some heavy traffic though, so let's get let's get out on the road. There we go. So, like I was showing outside um, on the Pursuit, uh, a lot of cool features. I was actually just using one of them. That was the blinker cameras. So when I go to get in the other lane here, I don't know if we can get it on the camera but I'm looking down the whole side of the coach. So anything that I can't see in my mirrors, I can see right off the screen. Very, very helpful. Um, especially, you know, if you're going through, uh, through maybe a little tighter spot or a gas station, you could even put that blinker on just to see what's on the side of you. So that's pretty neat to do. So going down the road though, Coachman does a great job modifying their chassis. Um, of course the chassis comes from Ford, but they do their own modifications in the house. Um, for what they're gonna put on it. So they do a great job. Um, I mean, we're riding down the road right now. We're riding true and smooth. I mean, we're doing about 45 right now and you can't even really hear it. That's what that new V8 motor gives you. It gives you a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque. Um, really just quiets down uh, its predecessor, the V10. Not that the V10 was a bad motor. That was a great motor used for years. 
but this new V8 just has a little more spunk to it. Kind of obey all the traffic signals here. Uh, so as we're driving too, um, like I said, the way the buttons are laid out, the way the gauges are laid out, everything's super simple. I mean, I have my eyes on the road right now and I can see everything that's going on. Um, if I was to plug my phone in, uh, like I said, I, I, you would have Apple CarPlay, you would have Android CarPlay. Um, you also have FM radio, you have Sirius XM radio. Um, so it, it's really packed full of features compared to what they used to have in it and what a lot of its competitors have, have in the coaches. Um, the cool thing with the Apple CarPlay and the Android CarPlay is if you have an app that you like to use for navigation, um, I, I like to use either Apple Maps or Waze, um, but if I'm driving a motorhome, I like to use Rand McNail. And the reason I like to use that is you can put in the exact dimensions of the RV, the, white, uh, the weight, the width, the length, the height, and it won't take you down a road that you, you can't make it. If there's a covered bridge, if there's a low bridge, anything like that, it'll reroute you. Um, so if you get that app on the phone and you plug into your navigation, you can run that. And it'll tell you everything on here. You know, um, there's a sharp S curve ahead if, if you can't make it down the road. It's a really nice feature so you don't get half an hour and down the road and have to turn around and come back because there's a low bridge. Now the other thing we're going to take a look at here is we're actually coming to a dead end. And the cool thing here on the Class A's I want to show you is the wheel cut and how you can maneuver. So you can see here, I mean, we, we have a nice space to turn around with, um, but it is a little tight, especially for a 31 foot coach. So if I turn this wheel all the way to the left right now, and we'll give it a little gas, I am not even close to any of these curbs. The maneuverability is amazing. And that comes in handy in so many situations. If you're in a tight campsite, um, if you're in a fuel station um, and the pumps are really, really close to each other, there's just a lot of trucks in there, um, you can get around super easy and really maneuver the coach, even with a tow vehicle behind it. And if I had the tow vehicle behind me right now, I would be running that back camera so I could see what was going on when I was doing that sharp turn there. But So while we're driving it, we'll talk a little bit about um, affordability. Um, I mean, this Coachman Pursuit, the 2023, we have on sale right now um, for $119,995. It's less than, I think a Suburban or a Tahoe is more than that nowadays if you get it built out right. And that doesn't even have a bathroom in it <laughs> or a kitchen. So affordability is awesome. If you want to just get out, go camping. Um, no matter if you're going weekend trips, um, if you're going to full time, anything like that, the, the Pursuit's just a great option. Um, it's it's one of our flagship models and i think for december we're actually running that special where it's 119.995 so great option um get out camping with the whole family or full time it we're gonna do some more maneuvers here and head back to the dealership and sign off so i'll see you back there all right so we're parked back at the dealership now with the coachman pursuit 31 bh um the special's going on the whole month of december so give us a call come on into the dealership Thank you for tuning into the video. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to call me direct. Again, my name's Eddie. I'm the motorhome specialist down here at Colton of Orchard Park. My number is 716-957-3250. And my direct extension is 342. But stop in. We'd love to see you in person. Thanks for tuning in.